So here we are at the same environment we had set up earlier. In the client column, you will see there respectively a Mac OS version 10.9.5 and a Microsoft Windows 7. Also, you'll be able to see a common storage space at 6 terabytes in shared volume, in which we have put a 10 bit 24 frames per second 4K DPX file. And we're going to run the file by using Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve 11 to see how the performance goes. Let's have a quick check on the format of the file. It's actually a 3840 x 2160 24 frames per second 4K DPX file. Then, let's continue by running the file. You can see the 5 green lights and 24 frames per second on the upper left side without any frame dropping issue. So it shows that the whole working environment is actually really stable. Now we're going to see if it will be the same when we run it on the Mac system. We're using VNC Viewer software here to show you the desktop of the Mac. Again, let's start up DaVinci Resolve 11 from this computer to run the same footage. Since giving access to all the users to process the same file at the same time is one of the major reasons what the SEND workstation is for, so we're going to run the same file in both systems. In the beginning, you'll find the performance a little bit unstable. That's because SEND is actually quite a complicated structure, so it'll take a few seconds to finalize the resource sharing issue. Now, in just a few seconds, the performance speaks for itself. You can see on the same spot showing 5 green lights 24 frames per second, proving it to be a stable shared workstation.